Francesco Ricci Francesco in the house. In the building. Oh, the, the Spartan yell. We've got Jesus Mendez in the blue corner and Hene in the red. Body kick had some pop. Hey now. Oh, big shot. Huge oh, left, big hand. left. Working dirty in the clinch. Renee sagging that lead hand. Probably trying to call him in for that big two. Huge overhand, ducked by Renee. Big kick swiped off, Renee pressuring in, looking for the body lock, getting shucked off to the side, and back into even ground. Yeah, it looks like Jesus is just trying to pace himself and just trying to see when can he, you know, enter in for that, for those strikes there, especially since Renee is standing in that southpaw position, so not a lot of times are, you know, guys are used to sparring you know, in their gym southpaw. So when they get in the cage and they face a southpaw person, they're like, oh man, sometimes they freeze up. What do I do? Renee looks like he's getting a little excited. You can see him walking regularly in the cage. You know, ha lead hand down. You gotta wonder if he's feeling the pressure, but he's keeping it up. Great drive, great double, trying to finish top. Mendez turning the corner, but the cookie monster is on the ride. Kept control of the legs. Mendez has been getting tripped a lot this fight. Huge left hand by Mendez. Woo. Both of these guys are just loading up trying to see what happens. But neither of them have taken notice to control the outside of the lead foot. Your opposite stance fighters, control the outside, start with power. That's like, that's the basics. Exactly, circle away from the individual's power. Yeah, put yourself in a position where you are more likely to be dominant. I almost wonder if for Jesus, if he's just used to fighting, you know, orthodox style fighters, so his coaches always tell him, you know, hey, you know, circle, circle, circle one direction, but now he's fighting a southpaw individual. I don't oh. know if anybody's told him, hey, you need to switch it up, circle the other way now. This guy's not orthodox like 99% of the guys in the gym that you train with. This guy's actually southpaw, so Woo. switch it up where you circle. What a way to end the first in a firefight. Coming up. Yeah, both of these guys got a lot to, to build off of. Were successful in their own rights in that first round. They Pretty even round overall. Both yeah, guys definitely. doing some really good stuff, landing some big shots, but no one really making it their own. Big head kick by Renee. Sorry, guys. Yeah, that first round, a slight edge, I would give it to Renee, but Jesus just needs to keep those hands up and that chin down and circle in the proper direction there. Right in the ding ding. The cookie monster trying to get his treats early. Hey, oh. <laughs> but he's not contesting. He understands, hey, you know what? My bad. I apologize. I kicked you there. I'll let you get your five minutes. Look, I'm not going to say this or tell you who said it to me. But you always get one. <laughs> you always get one. And Jesus, you almost, if it did, in fact, did land, you get five minutes, so I would use as much as I need to. Don't if, feel pressure, don't feel rushed to get back in there after this guy just, whether it be incidental or on purpose, just kicks you in the nuts there. Take your time. These guys are wild, man. Huge, crazy shots from odd angles. Just gotta have something land. Big overhands by Renee. Rushing in, getting his takedown on top. Head trapped, heads out. Let's look for some ground and pound here. 
Oh, he's got like a leg drag position. He could do some real damage if he wants to. Pulling him back, no hooks. Risky, but staying top. Yep. As he continues to dominate and control, and control Jesus here in this second round, the difference maker here. This, this is exactly control, what I like to what, see. Yeah, this is what this is what Rene needed to separate himself from Jesus. Smart control, dominant position, in very little danger, and using it to do damage. Mendez must have been paying attention to social media recently, trying to throw haymakers from the bottom. Mendez doing all the right things here, trying to cover up and bang his hips. Rene, as well, on the ball, controlling the top. You see that cross face shoulder pressure every time Mendez starts trying to buck the hips. And when Mendez settles, Rene explodes and starts firing. Here, Mendez got his feet on the cage, but just slid it out. The downside of being sweaty on vinyl. Rene opening up. The Freedom Fighters guys are known for being violent. They might not have the crispiest technique in the world, but they're tough, they're mean, and they're violent. He landed one there from the bottom. <laughs> yeah, after that second round, I have to give the edge again to Rene, the cookie yeah. monster, El Gique. The first one was a little bit close, but in the second round, he definitely did a little bit more than what it took to separate it. You heard it here first. Yeah. You remember last time we talked about how 1FC stole our style of doing fights. Right. With mixing the Muay Thai and stuff. They didn't make that up. They got that from us. Third and final round of this catch weight MMA bout. Mendez playing a little cat and mouse, but judging by the first two rounds, I really don't see him pulling back as an attempt to set up the Cookie Monster but just kind of biding his time till the flurry happens. And though they're relatively even when these exchanges happen, no one's really been hit like this round. 50 shots thrown, one or two contacts, but Mendez is backing up, which gives the illusion of control to Rene. Exactly. Great jab. Neither one fighter has landed any, you know, bloody shots or knockout shots, but definitely those takedowns and that control that Rene had in those first two rounds is what's gonna, you know, separated the aggression the successful takedowns the ground and pound renee should be well ahead on the scorecards right now great level change underneath that hook and here we are back to round two renee's going to want to put his head in the throat Jesus Mendez, if he wants to win here, he needs he needs to finish here in this third round. If he thinks he could just pepper up strikes and just win on points, that's not going to be the case. That's not going to be the case here. Good level change, easy takedown for Rene. If you're gonna be in Mendez's position, there's no better spot to be than right next to your corner where you can get a clear sound of what they're trying to tell you and what they want you to do. Unfortunately, we're this deep in, and he's not really able to execute in this moment. The pressure from Rene is just too much. Yeah, less than 30 seconds here. Mendez trying to use the cage, but just to no avail. Rene is just too heavy with it. Great shoulder pressure. He's setting up for the Americana. Mendez clears himself out. Big shots from Rene, biding his time, controlling. We're in those last few seconds and Rene will not be denied.
All right, ladies and gentlemen, the judges have reached a decision. Your winner with a unanimous decision out of the red corner, Renee the Cookie Monster LG.